and welcome. In this video, I will be talking about a very interesting point related to the system very log version of UVM. And the topic is how we can add the coverage model for our DOT which consists of a single register. So we have been talking about this uh, single DOT, this DOT which consists of a single register and this register temp reg0 has a single field called F0 and the size of this register is A. We have developed the coverage model, uh, we have developed the environment for that, okay, the agent, sequencer, driver and molecule which consists of these three things. Then we discuss the predictor scoreboard and the resistor model also we discussed resistor sequence adapter now in this video i will show you how we can write the coverage model for this resistor temp zero okay so before proceeding to this video if you have understanding of the functional coverage then you can proceed if you don't know the functional coverage, I will request you first uh, you should go through the basics of the functional coverage. So already I have uploaded a few videos related to the system Verilog functional coverage as you can find on the screen. System Verilog functional coverage. It has few videos. I will put the link of this a playlist in the description so that you can go through these videos and then if you proceed for the today's video you will find the concept is you know piece of cake to understand okay so i will i will suggest you to go through these videos first and then you should proceed for the coverage part of the resist which we are going to discuss in today's video so already we had a discussion about this example in the last video we discussed that how we can define the explicit prediction in our environment the predictor component so that it can update the register database meaning the mirrored value value so i am considering the same example just i am doing a bit modification so the modification we have to do are like first in the register class we have to do few modification and in the register block we have to do few modification let me show you what are those modification so the entire things are same as we discussed in the last video okay let me show you those changes so class register r0 reg0 extend from uvm reg till this rand field uvm reg field f0 all the things are same Earlier we used to define the default constructor something like this, right? Function new, input string name red zero, and its constructor expecting name the width of a register, then UVM no coverage. Now we have to do a modification in this default constructor. I will show you what modification we have to do. Let me first walk you through the cover group block. So inside this register class itself, we have to define a cover group, end group. Inside this cover group, we have to define a cover, cover point. Okay. So the name for the cover group is F0CG. You can give any name over. Option dot per instance is equal to one. In order to get the detailed analysis in ED playground, we have to give, we have to give this. Then cover point for this field f0 so as you know our resistor has a single field called f0 so for that we are defining a cover point dot value 7 down to 0 so this value variable actually store the value to be sampled during coverage okay. and the size is 7 down to 0 because the size of our resistor is 7 down to 0 and we have a single field called f0 that entire a resistor size we are considering a single field which is of 8 bit hence this value 
will also be 7 down to 0 meaning 8b and in the curly brace i'm defining the bins okay so range 0 range 1 and range 2 i'm i'm dividing this 256 uh, you know value to raised to power 8 is 256 right to three ranges range 0 consists of 0 to 63 then range 1 is consist of 64 to 127 and range 3 consists of 128 to 255 you can give any ranges uh, based on your choice okay. so i am defining three ranges three pins different ranges for bins explicitly i am defining bins over here i am not going to explain what explicit bins already i have explained those things in the system very log functional coverage part. Now you can see this default construct. Okay. Now it expecting uh, you know its uh, function new input string name red zero. Then super dot new name the width of the register. And here I'm defining uvm underscore cvr meaning coverage underscore field vals meaning values. What this particular you know, argument is? Let me show you what this argument is. So if you see the literature, you will find that it is from the UVM coverage model underscore E. Okay. So earlier we used to give UVM no coverage because we don't want to, we don't want the separate coverage for that. But now as we are defining the cover points and cover group in our register, we can define any one out of this four. So UVM underscore CVR rich bits means the coverage for individual register bits. UVM underscore CVR A double DR underscore map meaning the coverage for individual register and memory address. Here we are defining this UVM coverage field VALS, right? So the coverage is for field values. So as our register has a single field F0, we are defining this UVM CVR underscore field VLS. Okay. Let me show you the code. So we are defining that okay over here in the super dot new. And if we, we are checking that the hash coverage is UVM coverage field values. Then we are allocating a memory for this cover group CG F0 C using new constant. You can ignore this line, line number 443, but it is always good to define it. So, what is this has coverage all about? If you uh, see the literature, you will find that this has coverage will be there. Okay. Let me show you that also. that has coverage is used to check whether uh, it has a coverage or not okay so as you can see over here it has this has coverage okay okay this has coverage which is used to check if the block has a coverage model or not so it is not mandatory to give but it is always good to give that if you comment and run, then then also you'll find it will work. Okay. Now we have to define a sample method, virtual function void sample within parenthesis the default arguments like data byte enable is read and map. So if you see, and then we are calling the cover group dot sample method. So if you see the literature for this, you will find it has one sample method, okay, over here, which is used to uh, define the functional coverage uh, which is nothing but a functional coverage measurement method which consists of this default arguments so that we are defining over here and we are calling the sample method okay. cover group dot sample then another sample values a method is there so if we want to define for a field we can define uh, that sample values okay let me show you that over here So 
So if you see, you will find that sample value method is there, which is the functional coverage measurement method for field values. So we can define that also over here. Okay. Now let me show you the code. Okay. Here we are defining that virtual function wide sample values and we are calling the super dot sample value, the parent method. And here we are calling that field, meaning that cover group dot sample and anything. And the other thing is same, meaning the build method of the register is same, where we are creating the field using factory straight method. And here we are calling the configure method by providing nine or two right? That is it. Then some changes are there in the register block. All the things are same. Let me show you two changes. First change in the build method, UVM range colon colon include coverage. We have to define it is mandatory if we want to add the coverage in our block. So what we are doing here, we are defining the include coverage within parenthesis, the star meaning the coverage for all the you know, uh, all the classes if you want then another argument is uvm coverage all okay then this uh, creating the instance of the register calling the building method and configure set. the second change is that we have to call the set coverage here so register instance dot set coverage and here we are providing UVM coverage field values that are augmented. By this, we are actually forcefully enabling the coverage for the field as well. Okay. Then other things are same like default map. So we are creating the map, adding range in the map, and this set auto predict we are doing in the disabling it. Zero we are mentioning because explicitly we are defining the you know, predictor in our environment. Remaining all the classes, all the things are same. There is no any changes in other you know, classes. Just some changes are there in register block. Just two changes. We have to use this include coverage and set coverage method. And in the register, the register class, we have to define the cover group by our own. And we have to define the cover points, which consist of the explicit things. And the default constructor has some changes like we have to define uh, the third arguments like UVM coverage field values because we want to define the coverage for field and so And the sample methods, nothing much we have to do except these two, except these two changes. Okay. One change is there in the register, another change is in the uh, register block. So when you run this code, you will find uh, the messages something like this. So already we had a discussion in the last video, right? We are generating the five. We are generating five random transaction, and we are uh, driving them to the hardware. Uh, you know, we are we are uh, writing them to the hardware register using the write method, and we are reading from the hardware register using a read method. So those things are same as we discussed in the last video. Now the important thing here here is to understand the coverage calculation, coverage result. So after running this code, you will find the result something like this. So the range R0, R1, R2, three ranges are there as we have defined the cover points for them. And the goal is at least these should be, you know, hit one time. And as they are hitting multiple times, hence all got, you know, all, you know, covered over here. Hence we are getting the 100% percent cover. Okay. Now the important, another important point here is that after you know, defining this coverage group, cover point and all, we have to define for run dot do file. So this run dot do file consists of these many things. So already I have discussed uh, these things in the system verilog functional coverage playlist. So that file we have to do, we, we have to add the content of that by in the run dot do file. And here we have to enable this use run dot do TCL file. And if you want to check the waveform, we can check the waveform something like this. So after running this code, you will find the waveform something like this, which already we had a discussion in the last. Okay. So uh, this is what a simple explanation, how we can define 
the you know cover group and cover point and the coverage for the DOT which consists of a single resistor. So you will find the waveform something like this. Already we had a discussion last time. Okay. So with this I hope you have understood how we can define the coverage for the DOT which consists of a single resistor. How to define a cover point and how to define the bins explicitly. What are the changes in the default constructor? The third argument we have to provide UVM coverage field values okay. and the sample methods and the changes inside a register block. Those two changes include coverage and the set coverage. Okay. So with this, I hope you have understood how we can define the coverage model for the DUT, which consists of a single register and a single field FZ. And also, I hope you enjoyed this. So thanks for watching. Thank you.